Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Gab, and this is the autofocus test after I upgraded my GH5 firmware from version 1.1 to 2.2. On this first video, I have the autofocus set to one area. As you can see, the GH5 does not struggle with focusing on the first plant and the plant in the background as I pan from right to left, from left to right. So this is the firmware 2.3 and I'm upgraded from 1.1 and on the second video on this one I set the autofocus to the 225 area mode and with this setting also the GH5 doesn't show any signs of focus hunting or pulsing from previous firmware and GH5 focuses quickly on the foreground and background objects when I change even when a slight change in the focal range okay so on the third video I set the autofocus to tracking mode to see what the GH5 would do in this situation I have the camera locked on the foreground object and when I pan from right to left the camera maintained locked on the first plan this is just for my testing purposes because I haven't really tried it and I don't really use this setting much. Okay, uh, a summary. So, did the firmware 2.2 improve the GH5 autofocus? Absolutely. For being a contrast based autofocus camera, Panasonic really tried to improve on its weakness. Is it comparable to Canon and Sony autofocus? Absolutely not, but the GH5 is a good contender to those. If you want a video centric mirrorless camera that can shoot video more than 30 minutes, will I recommend the GH5 for vlogging now? Yes, I've been using the camera for about almost 10 months. Uh, I have it paired with a 12 to 35 f2.8. So, with that, if you pair it with a fast lens, you will have a robust video camera system. Again, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.